Dinner is ready. Come sit. <sighs> this is not the meal that we recommend you eat after a seven day water fast. Actually, let me just rewind here for a second. Go back to when Lou finished his fast and walk you through the refeeding process that Lou did because it worked really well for him. We followed a protocol from the True North Health Center for Lou's refeeding after his seven day water fast. And so that meant for every seven days of water fasted that you do one day of organic cold pressed juice. Then the day after that, one day of raw fruits and veggies. And then after that, one day of steamed vegetables, plus raw fruits and veggies and things like that. And then for the next two weeks about, he had a very simple whole plant-based diet plan. So that was a lot of just oatmeal and banana, steamed broccoli, tons of blueberries, boiled potatoes, rice and salad. You know, we kept it really simple just so that he could get the calories back in his system, but also allow the healing process to keep going. And yeah, it, he's feeling really good now, so I think it worked pretty well. The other thing I wanted to say is that we got a lot of comments saying that Lou should try like a paleo or a keto or intermittent fasting or all these different things. And while we appreciate all the feedback, in the end, we actually know what works to limit Lou's inflammation and his arthritis symptoms because we were able to get rid of them completely a few years ago when we were living in Berlin. I found this program called the Patterson Program and Lou followed that for I think about almost a year and a half or two years and he was able to get rid of almost all of his symptoms, live pain-free and with no medication. And that protocol, the Patterson Program, is a low-fat, um, oil-free, whole food, plant-based diet. High in sprouts, high in greens, and high in fermented foods. So that means there's no oil, no animal products of any kind. So no eggs, no dairy, no meat, cheese, all of that. No alcohol, no coffee, no sugar, processed food. You should be able to like look at your bowl of food and understand what each ingredient is. Okay, I just wanted to pause here for a second and address the crazy rooster that has been interrupting me in this video. We are parked outside of Barcelona and there's a rooster that lives right by where we parked. So he's been very loud and we couldn't get rid of him. So we just kept filming anyway and I hope it's not too distracting. But I am curious, is there anybody who can guess how many times this rooster crows in this video? Because it's absurd and it's been driving Lou insane in the edit. Um, but on that note, let's just get back into me explaining what Lou's been eating after his seven day water fast. If you look at our bowls, it's like, that's quinoa, that's potato, that's salad, and it's very easy to understand. The last few months before the water fast, we weren't totally eating as health promoting, really. It's like, it's not necessarily good or bad, it's just like, this is what we know reduces inflammation in Lou's body, and so because of that, his symptoms had come back a lot, and what we were hoping was the water fast would stop his back pain first off but also his arthritis symptoms and now what we've found is that he's so inspired by being pain free that we are going back to our original protocol that works so well for Lou with the Clint Patterson program so that's our plan. Since today is day 20 after Lou finished his water fast I thought it might be fun to walk you through what we're eating now that Lou's almost done with his refeeding process feeling much stronger psychologically and we're still going with this Patterson program and I am also feeling great so it's not just with people with arthritis like I don't know it makes me feel so much more energetic so we started today how we start every day with 20 minutes of meditation in bed then I made us a huge jug of lemon water and we sat outside and drank it while talking about how we could potentially make this video interesting then after that we got hungry and had breakfast and I made this new concoction I'm calling gingerbread oatmeal which is just oats molasses, powdered ginger, and powdered cinnamon. And it's really good. It basically smells like Christmas in the van when I make it. And with a few bananas in there and some apples on top, it's really sweet and keeps me full for hours. But then when we got hungry again, I made us a huge salad with some leftover quinoa and some boiled potatoes, spiralized some veggies and put some lemon on top. And easy, quick, and kept us going until dinner, which was the real exciting moment of the day. And I made a curry that Lou has been craving since we left Berlin, which is super, super simple. It's basically just ginger, garlic, onion, curry powder, potatoes, spinach, and peas. And that's that. 
yummy. And I served that with basmati rice, some parsley on top, and some lemon as well, and then salad on the side, of course. And then we also add in miso and some nutritional yeast. Uh, miso is like a fermented soybean paste and nutritional yeast. I don't exactly know what it is, but it's kind of like a cheesy-ish weird flavor that vegans like, and it has B vitamins in it too. So that was our meal, and I feel like from the look on Lou's face, it was pretty good. How hungry are you? So hungry. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay, so I hope that answered the question of what to eat after a water fast, but before we check out today, I thought I would ask Lou a few tough questions about his water fast, and we've been getting a lot of questions in the comments, so I thought this would be a perfect time to get it from the source. Lou? <sighs> so, my first question for you is, what was the hardest part of the water fast? Hmm. I feel like the hardest part of my water fast, a seven day water fast, was definitely the refeeding process, which is kind of what I expected. I just didn't expect that it would be so hard for such a long period of time. Mm -hmm. I thought like the first day would be hard or the second day. But the thing is like, you do a lot of mental preparation before a water fast. And then the actual water fast requires a lot of willpower and motivation, even though you're not doing anything, it's still like a mentally challenging experience and then you finish and you think you're done and you're not. It's like the refeeding process is much longer than the preparation was and way longer than the water fast was. It's 20 days after I finished my water fast and like I'm just starting to eat meals normally now. Mm. You know, like the first week is not normal at all. Your stomach is tiny, so you eat something, you eat like half of a dinner and you're full and you wanna eat like three more times what you've already eaten, but you can't. And so that's a frustrating feeling to want to eat more than you physically can. And you also, if you overeat just a little bit, you get a stomach ache pretty quickly. So the refeeding process is definitely a very challenging time, but it's also beautiful. I mean, the first time I had juice after not eating any food for seven days was insane. It tasted so good. It literally tasted like soda or <laughs> better than soda. It just felt like pure energy. And I remember the first time I bit into a papaya and like just chewed on solid food. It just like melted in my mouth. And so you eat these foods and every new food you have feels like a whole new experience. And then at some points you're like, but all I want is a burrito like, <laughs> or some pizza. And so it's kind of a mixture of things. It's like the food you're eating is incredible, but you're also like, your body is just psychologically craving like high fat, high calorie dense foods and for us, that was not what the early stages of the refeeding process are about. It's like juice and raw veggies and fruits and steamed veggies and no oil and not a lot of fat and no processed food. And so the food you're eating makes you feel really, really good, but your brain is like, give me that other food. I can't imagine eating like oil or high fat foods or like animal products after a water fast. I feel like I could barely eat the like pure quinoa and potatoes and like vegetables and fruit that we were eating. And I'm really happy I did because it helped so much with gaining energy again. And like we filmed a ton of videos, we went all over, like we just started living our life again, like normal. Mm -hmm. And I can't imagine doing that with heavier food. I think what a lot of people don't understand is because of my rheumatoid arthritis, injuries tend to take a really long time to heal. So like a severe back injury I've had in the past took a year to heal and the one I had before the water fast was much worse than that. So I was expecting over a year of recovery of going to the chiropractor, the doctor, specialists, massage therapists, like doing all of that stuff and still being injured a year later. And so that's why it was such an incredible experience for me because seven to 10 days later, I didn't have a back injury, Yeah. you know? And it's like, that has never happened before. Um, Can you just explain like what you mean by joint pain and RA? Cause I think a lot of people don't know so like you had your back injury, but then you also have joint pain. So it's like stiffness. When you wake up, your fingers are swollen, your feet hurt. Like you just live with that without realizing that those like aren't normal. Yeah, so going into the water fast, I had a major back injury and that is kind of what I focused on healing. But on top of that, I also have rheumatoid arthritis. And because we had not been following the Pattison program very closely for the whole last year, a lot of my symptoms had come back. So basically what that means is like, I wake up some mornings and my hands are just stuck. Like I can't open my fingers very well. I can't close them. I can't tie my shoes. 
It basically just feels like you're 90 years old, even though you're not. And I know it's hard to picture what 90 feels like, but it's like, imagine like the most you've ever exercised and like the pain you feel the next day and then take that pain and put it like not just in your muscles, but also in your joints, like mm -hmm. mainly in your joints. Or like when it's really, really cold out and you feel like creaky, you know, like a little bit, that's like what it's like times a hundred. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, the water fast was actually really easy, at least like the fasting part of it, because every single day my pain levels were dropping. So it's like, I went into it with a lot of joint pain and by day seven, I had none of that. Mm -hmm. So like going from eight to zero pain level is, life-changing. It's like shocking, yeah. really. And I think the really important thing for me is that it was like a really nice refresher on why we need to stick with the Patterson program and why we really need to prioritize my health and avoid having to do another one of those. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because it's like you could also just eat vegetables and stuff and then you don't need the water fast. <laughs> Yeah, and it's like, if I just stick to the Patterson program, I can have the exact same results of a water fast without having to not eat for a week. <laughs> so that's the plan. <laughs> yeah. And then um, just one quick little thing. Uh -huh. um, how's that mattress treating you? Oh gosh. There are a ton of comments about whether or not it was just the mattress that fixed everything. And I feel like that's mainly our fault for mixing up two issues. I mean, the people who have rheumatoid arthritis in the comments have been laughing because if you could buy a mattress and fix rheumatoid arthritis, everyone would buy that mattress and it 100% would not be a $120 mattress from Ikea. Yeah. Um, so the mattress was really nice because a lot of water fasting is just resting in bed, but it didn't fix my back problem and it can't cure rheumatoid arthritis. Um, but it was important and it was really nice to install it and we really are enjoying it a lot. So. It's crazy that it took me breaking my back for us to switch our mattress, but I'm happy that we finally did. Me too. I feel so much better too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, babe, I love you and I'm so proud of you and I'm really happy that you're feeling better. Thanks. I'll keep cooking you healthy food. Yeah, so that's that. You did it. We did it. I love you. I'm proud of you. <sighs>